Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now in the last tutorial we saw how to make a, a histogram. We saw how to we saw an example of uh, a normal uh, generating random numbers uh, based on normal dis based on probability distributions. How to make a histogram and how to make it fancy. Okay, and now uh, today we'll go at bar charts. But before we go to bar charts, I thought of explaining guys one thing. If we um, if we look at the histogram plot we got last time, okay, let me zoom it up for you. Okay, what, I mean the plot looks nice and the curve looks nice and all. Okay, what's interesting look at look is that see this portion portion over here. I set the histogram of IQ to be mu equals hundred and sigma equals fifteen in uh, proper mathematical notations in proper mathematical notations so if some guy, some of you guys might be wondering okay how do i do how do i do that it's simple okay you see this option titan see this option over here the title you may i'll explain what's what's going on if you want to write mathematical notations inside the string inside uh, the title and everything what you need is that you need to include them between dollar symbols okay and to include mathematical symbols which which are corresponds to Greek letters, you need this you need the corresponding Greek Greek letters like minus uh, mu mu and sigma. Okay, and if you guys want to know how uh, this symbol back, uh, backslash mu or backslash mu creates your uh, uh, creates your Greek letter mu, and your sim and this symbol backslash sigma creates your Greek letter sigma. Okay. And if you want to use these kind of mathematical notations, you need to put them in, enclose them in uh, dollar signs. Include, enclose them in dollar signs, single dollar signs. That is, that's about, that's about it. Okay. And uh, these are actually the LaTeX, not LaTeX notations. So if you guys are learning LaTeX, uh, you might find this easy. But those of you guys who haven't learned LaTeX, uh, you might find this a little hard, little confusing to be in the beginning. But uh, if you guys start from the basics, you'll understand what's going on. Okay, that's about that. Uh, let me close close this up. And today, let's look at bar charts. Now, making bar charts is very very simple. What in before bar before we do the bar charts, we need to keep. Uh, we are going to use the same example last time, so we need to look at what are the sizes or shapes of bins L and N. Okay, if you guys notice, bins. Uh, Okay, if you guys notice, n is actually the number of counts within the range. When the n is actually the number of counts in the range, so n will be nothing but well, n will be nothing but uh, 51, 50. Okay, since we give the number of bins to be number of groups and number of bins to be 50, now n will be 50. Okay, whereas the shape, shape whereas the shape of l and shape of bins is actually 51 because l will have uh, uh, bins will have the edges edges of all the 50 groups so we will have in total 51 edges so bins will have the edges of 50 all the 50 groups so we have 51 so uh, bins is, is 51 where a shape uses uh, uh, bins uh, bins itself as the input bins itself as the input so consequently l will have uh, l will have 51 values L will have 51 values so you have to keep that in mind now to make a bar bar chart it's extremely simple you need to use this line called as plt dot bar and that's it so what you need is that you need the you need the bins on the left you need the bins on the x axis and the counts on the y axis and that's it bins are the edges now what I'm going to do is that since yeah, n is just 50, whereas the bin edges are 50, bin edges are like uh, 51. This is bin, bins are like 51 in total. The shape of this 51. What I'm going to do? I'm just going to print from the zero from the zeroth value till the fifth till the uh, till index number 49. So how do I give it? I use the slicing operation, colon 50. Now what it'll do is that it just it's going to include only the value of the on the bin values from index 0 to index 49 okay and then I'm going to set the face color of this bar chart to be green simple as that and then 
to plot this to plot the curve normal distribution curve on top of it so that it beca- if we get a idea of how the di- how uh, how it matches with the uh, distribution how it matches with the distribution we'll be using plots we'll be using a plot command where the x axis will be bins x axis will be bins and your y axis will be the l value superimposed on it so sim- same as that okay since both of them have the same range and axis so we we're just superimposing on uh, superimposing that so that's kind of advantages and i'm setting that color to be l and then i'm giving a label to be pdf okay now let me plot this up so if i were to copy this and uh, paste it over here okay you get a graph here and look at if you look at this okay you have the bar chart bar chart ready bar chart ready good that looks fine now let me j- let the bar chart be as it is let the bar chart be as it is now what okay now what i'm going to do is that let me plot the let me make the plot on top of it so let me make the plot on top of it if i press enter okay you get the nice normal distribution curve placed on top of it with red color okay how that's about it and now if you just this is just the x label y label title okay so uh, let me copy those x label y label and title over here and uh, let me paste it over here okay now the plot looks a little more fancy with the put, uh, x label y la- x label y label and title good enough good en- good enough and then let me plot the axis now here what i'm set doing is that i'm part i'm setting the axis to be a uh, axis and uh, starting points and ending points the starting point of the x axis is 20 the ending point is 180 the starting point of y axis is 0 the ending point is 0.035 okay now if you see it's the uh, 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 the ending point of y is uh, 0.3 0.03 starting is 0 whereas for x is 40 and 60 160 okay now this will me now if i make uh, this line possible the axis will be rigid and you will have a, a shift in axis watch so i copy this and paste this and you look at the axis the axis gets shifted on both sides and the, even this axis on the top is shifted on both sides and now the axis is rigid okay the axis is rigid and now um, nothing much put the legend on grid and save figure copy all this okay paste it over here and there you have it now the plot looks neat and sim- now the plot looks simple neat and uh, it is labeled and ins- now it's very informative okay now with this done if you just go to your folder and look at the iq histogram plot sorry so this is the histogram plot let's l- look at the bar chart plot not bad huh not bad huh the plot looks okay and it's in a proper proper quality as well This is on 48% zooming. You can zoom it still. Uh, uh, now this will be the actual person zooming, so it looks fine. It looks fine. Okay. Now that's how we do bar. That's how we do bar plots. Okay. You can do a lot of fancy stuff with bar uh, these plots as well. You can, if you want to plot one bar plot on another other plot, like superimposing one value on top of the other and everything, you can do all that. You can do have a lot. You, you have a lot of features to explore. So if you just guys just look at uh, a lot of examples online and then uh, some queries and questions in Stack Exchange and other places, you will have lot and lot of <coughs> you will have lot and lot of uh, uh, quite uh, the uh, uh, examples and illustrations for you to guys look at. So that will be very useful. And now, and now uh, with this with this, what we're going to do is that we're going to end up the end up our one-dimensional plot plotting. and then in the next tutorial we will be looking at how to extract data from text files and then the subsequent tutorial the uh, uh, subsequent tutorial we will see how to uh, work with netcdf files okay now that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next tutorial so take care